When you do a drug user group, it's like a fellowship. It's like joining AA. It was a meeting place for drug users and support groups, but it didn't even last a year before the city of Surrey pulled its business license. And advocates say there will be lasting impacts as the B.C. Supreme Court reviews the decision. Ann Livingston says 100 people a day were stopping by the BC Yukon Association of Drug War Survivors office in Newton, especially early on in the pandemic. She says the seven months they were open, they were hassled by bylaw officers. They said, well, you're running an overdose prevention site here or an injection site or whatever. And it's impossible to have an office for a, a membership organization that uses drugs and not have people use drugs. A petition from Pivot Legal Society to the BC Supreme Court notes an officer visited the nonprofit last March and told the group to cease operations in two days. Pivot writes the Fraser Health Authority sent a letter to bylaw clarifying this wasn't a consumption site. Surrey City Council held a hearing in May but stuck by the decision to cancel the business license. Well, the it's very exciting to see what the judge says tomorrow. With the office closed, Livingston says, volunteers spent hours driving around looking for members. If you're going to just keep hating drug users, that's fine. But you can't actually have a municipality block health care that's funded by the province and meant to open in your municipality. It's been a 30-year battle for Livingston, who co-founded the Vancouver area network of drug users in the 90s. No one would give out needles except for on a one-for-one -one exchange. If uh, someone ever clued in that you were a drug user, you couldn't get into Carnegie Centre, which is a city-run facility. So we fought all those battles. I don't think, people often think, oh, Vancouver's always been cool. No, it hasn't. The B.C. Supreme Court is scheduled to conduct a judicial review of Surrey City Council's decision on Tuesday. Persisting is the best thing you can do for anyone who's died in their name, you know, saying that this is something we've got to do something about. The city of Surrey says it won't comment because the matter is before the courts. In Surrey, Crystal Adaris, City News.